YouTube. Acknowledge me. I was here with Just Joel. I'm going to introduce myself in just a moment. But um, at the time of recording, last night was payback. So you know what it's about. WWE reaction, reacting to this great premium live event. But before we also do that, it's one year to the day since we were at Clash of the Castle in Cardiff, Wales. Mm. Wise man, introduce yourself. You have anything you want to say on that? <laughs> What's good, guys? It's your boy, just Joe, just Joe. Evil. Oh, you know, it's the man with a mic. Kiss the. Sorry, I'm late one, but soon to be great one. Um, it's water in here, by the way. Um, but you know, shout out to the team Arsenal. At the, of the time of recording, just smoked United three one. But of course, like Jeff said, we're here to talk about payback. Uh, that that premium live event. But of course, you know you gotta you gotta show some love. You know what I mean. You gotta subscribe, like, comment, share to Jeff channel, my channel. Social media will be up there right now. Shout out to my guy Jeff, man, for real. Man, Clash of the Castle. Clash of the Castle. I can't believe it, man. We saw Bianca Belair there. Man. We saw Roman Reigns. We saw Drew McIntyre. We saw a lot of superstars. Yeah. Matt Riddle, Seth Freaking Rollins. I like so Edge. Much. Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan. So many stars. Edge, Remy Stereo. And also, that today marks one year <laughs> since Dumb turned on his father and yes. his, you know, since he turned on the WWE universe and everything and yeah he cooked. a year later he's a North American champion come on man champion of North America Mexico and Canada as he loves to say man it's, it's been a great year it's been a really great year man wow Facts. so many things have happened since then it's Facts. just been yeah. I still can't believe you were there man I was the, I even yeah, just watched no. shout out to the just, Shout out to the gang as well that were there, the team that were there. Not the, you know, yeah, not, not like an official team, but you know, build, but they know themselves. So shout out yeah. to them. Shout out to them, man. For real, great, great, great people. But yeah, payback. Uh, boy, we tried to stay up. I tried to stay up. I think. Did you? Fall asleep? I tried to stay we. Yeah. You you stayed up here. I was. I fell asleep. Of course, I stayed up. I'm always up. I I think Jeff lies. You know something. I think he actually does lie, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, man. Your, it's your channel, your video. Sorry, but take it away, man. Take it away. Payback. All right. Payback. Well, first of all, we just, um, Joel got the most predictions spot on as he, as he usually does. But more on that in a moment. Great premium live event. I think it definitely goes down as one of the best. Best match on the night is the, is the match that we're going to start with, which was the opening match, the still page match. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. I was going to yeah. say, for whatever reason, yeah, but. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus wow. still played the match. Wow. That match had absolutely everything, man. Absolutely everything. Becky Lynch ended up winning by um, hitting a manhandle slam, an avalanche manhandle slam onto um, onto Trish, onto the mat. One, two, three. Distractions were there. Well, the main distractions always start. She came in to try to help Trish. And um, after the match was done, we saw that Trish and Zoe are no more. So I don't know what I don't know what we're doing. Trish versus Zoe feud or whatever. But even even the match itself, absolutely mm. great. Like, Joel, what do you what do you have to say about the match? Yeah, uh, that's I if mean, you even watched. Bro, Jeff, hold on. Jeff knows I watched it, yeah. Um, of course your boy is an early riser due to work and uh getting old now and they're over twenty five and them things there. So uh, staying up sometimes is an absolute myth, but now I was I was up for this. Of course, I was uh locked in. Uh, we were. I mean, I don't. Obviously, it's hard to to gauge what a good card is or what's going to be a good pay per view or a bad pay per view. Sometimes things don't turn out how people expect. That stuff but, is just subjective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly that as well. But um. This now exceeded our expectations from the get go. I knew this was going to be a good match, but the stuff that these women were doing, like they got into it straight away. Trish was grinding her, Becky's face on the cage. Uh, they got into it. They were scrapping. There were some big moves, some 
false finishes and that finishes kicked out of big bumps, uh, one or two big. I think the big there's a big superplex and stuff like that, which was great. I love the way Trish sold that. Peak and, um, and twist of oh, yeah, a little cool, but yeah, yeah, little callbacks as well. Um, but yeah, no, the ladies put on an excellent cage match. I was thoroughly, thoroughly uh, happy with that, really enjoyed it at the end. Uh, when so we, I don't know because I seen Trish kind of got round of applause after, so I'm thinking this Trish going and then, but you obviously, I don't know, but I thought it was fun, very fun match to start with, yeah. Man, and honestly, good. man, that match had so much hatred in there, they really wanted to kill each other. Like, um, Trish came out with a third eye in the middle of her forehead, and she also had an elbow oh, bust, yeah, yeah. way John Cena and Sami Zayn have had an elbow bust up previously, so you know, she probably threw her body on the line. I believe she she even hit um uh, um what's that move called um I forgot what it's called there but it was the same move that she did at the end of um Monday Night Raw where a bulldog basically oh, yeah, from yeah. the top rope from, she the, hit it from the middle wasn't it yeah I she, think she, 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 she yeah. also got caught at the top of the still steps as well well I mean, thought she was I, the, I was, the cage, I was mean, for her life there but with her legs when her legs on the cage yeah oh yeah on the top of the cage yeah fam. Uh, then yeah. I'm telling you, then when we went to war, they really wanted to kill each other. Big and, superplex uh, from them to People didn't them, expect man. that match to have to be anything. But, you know, good things happened to those two. Wait, yes, it should have been over at SummerSlam. But, um, yes, we waited a month. We got an excellent force yeah. count anywhere match out of it. And yeah. also this excellent still cage match. Mm. If you are finally done now, so people can stop bitching. It's finally done. I think it was worth the wait, absolutely. Imagine they had that on SummerSlam and it was rushed or something, man. Yeah, That's you won't want that. Yeah, facts, 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 facts. facts. But yeah, like I said, John, we, we both had the same prediction for this one. We both expected Becky to win and win is what she did. Yes. And at the end of the match, um, Trish slapped Zoe again in the face for not doing her job. And Zoe just gave her a Z360, ripped off the thank you Trish tank top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man. Obviously, thank you Trish. If that's the end, Thank you, Trish. One yeah, for Chris. sure. If that is, sure. couldn't have said it any better. Couldn't have said it any better. But she, uh, Zoe started to try and get involved. She did get a uh, still door. Did though back the ending though. I mean, I was. It's not something I would complain about necessarily, but I just was a bit like, oh, like Zoe smashed uh, Becky in the face with the with the door, and like two seconds later, she was hitting like some manhandle slam or something. If you watch it, have a watch back here. I was just a bit like, I'm not one to nitpick at everything, but just watch it back. She slaps, she gets whooshed in the face. It literally, like, she just, five seconds later. But anyway, yeah, great match. You couldn't have put it better. I couldn't have put it better, any better than you did, bro. So, yeah, I agree. On to the next one. The greatest of all time, John Cena. He came out. <laughs> do, 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 do. A host of payback. Mm-hmm. He came out, man, and he, he announced he was going to be refereeing the next match, which would be Miz versus L.A. Knight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, man, he also said the woman had a great match. They are now so called him the greatest of all time. I know, so yeah. Calling him now. That is what he is, literally the greatest of all time. And, um, yeah, man, great back, great talk with the Miz before, asking the Miz for help. The Miz saying, I'm wearing a 10K dollar suit. He's still dressed like a telly top. Yeah, like, I know that got you in it. That, no, got that you. whole thing <laughs> was funny, still funny interaction. And then Miss said to him, yeah, you ain't got a referee shirt. He pulls one out from his ass, referee shirt. And yeah, man, LA Knight comes. They have a match. Um, wow. Yeah, decent match. Obviously, LA Knight got the win as well. One, two, three. Both of them got in Cena's face a bit. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Great match, one, two, three. We both said LA Knight to win, LA Knight won. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to say on that? Um, no, I, I think that obviously Miz is... Uh, the, the verbal stuff between Miz and, and uh, LA Knight's been good, as we said in our previous video as well. That's been good. So the match was pretty good. Um, You know, the stuff is Cena always, you know, Cena in it. Like, it's cheesy, but it's like, it's funny because it's Cena and, you know, Miz... They go way back, so that was good. LA Knight over as anything, just crowd going crazy for him. Just to turn, just just for him entering the ring, they go mad for him. But obviously, LA Knight. Uh, what was the match like? It was a decent little. It was going to be hard following that cage match, but them two did. You know, the LA Knight tax gave it a little bit more. You know, it was cool. They could have done whatever they wanted to do, but like yeah. you said, Cena going for like you know, just pushing and shot. Cena had to grab away both men, so that obviously. 
little things like that always just add to the the stipulation and make it a little bit interesting and things like that. Um, I'm surprised. Um, Cena did an F attitude adjustment. Uh, Miz. Um, but that might have been an outcome. Maybe that's I thought that maybe how LA Knight would win, but obviously that'd be a bit sketchy for a baby face to win like that. But I thought maybe Miz would have got in Cena's face. But after on the top of the ramp, uh, Cena and LA Knight were kind of like. Cena extended his hand and said, shake it. LA Knight was like, mm, almost lost because of you. Then Cena said, you ain't got to be my friend. But it's a, a sign of respect. He shook LA Knight's hand and then raised it. So, yeah, nice little That's moment there. Of the torch. It was That's, just an yeah. endorsement. It was just an endorsement. But and Cena's then, back, though, isn't it? Cena's back for a few more, regularly now, for a few more oh weeks. Man. Thank God, man. So we see what happens there, isn't it? Mm. Never know. He got a new match that I'll be getting as well. Here we go with these merch. Uh... <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, nice, nice merch, man. And um, yeah, seeing Cena in a referee top for the first time in the bar. I think last time we saw him in a referee top was with the Nexus. So a very, very, very long time. It was nice to see him in a referee top, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, after that match, we had the United States Championship match. But before that, we had a little backstage with Becky and the greatest of all time, greatest <laughs> champion of all time, centre of the universe, pretty in pink, Barbie doll, buff Barbie, all them things. There. Is that why you're in pink in, in support of Tiff. Tiffany Stratton? Hmm? Is that why you're in pink for support of Tiffany Stratton? Yeah. Okay. Man, that's cool. I'm just, I'm just asking why you're in pink. That's all. Not why, but I mean like, is that why? Okay. But like, yeah, she obviously, she was there at payback for that match. She, well, yeah. And yeah. They just had a little build, you know, she just came to apologize to Becky for saying, you know, that she's going to be a great NXT champion and not because she was never NXT champion. Becky basically said, focus on the match. I'll see you soon. So they've started playing the seats for that already. Mm. I'm, I'm sure that can wait a couple more months. And obviously, um, when the match... Survivor doesn't Series, happen, isn't it? Hmm? Survi- I think it's going to be a Survivor Series thing still. Yeah, you never, you never know, to be honest, man. We'll see what happens, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I don't think Becky needs that title, man. I don't think she needs to win it. Nah. Obviously... Yeah, man, Tiffany, Tiffany Stratton, the best of all time. And, um, yeah, it was just nice to see her on, on the pay-per-view, innit? Hey, it was, on, hey, to, on to the next match, though. Yeah, Austin Theory versus Rey Mysterio for the United States Championship. We didn't get a new champion. Um, Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory. I don't know if you watched that one. I'll be but... real. I had to watch that this morning because <laughs> just when I fell asleep. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> jo- I thought Jeff said there's a new champion. Like, oh yeah, I did. Chat back. Yeah, yeah, so I did. I know. I, know. I said that on purpose. I said oh, that on purpose. Okay, because I was just half asleep thinking, raw. They made him drop. Yeah, I, I thought we would have gone and checked. I've seen that was wrong. So I, was I just said, I, just, I said, oh man. Because then even when I tweeted you as well, like yeah, because obviously he he said in the pre preview theory will yeah. get smoked in under five minutes. The match went about ten. There so, you go. Yeah, there's there's always that one. Joel's always getting it wrong. He's always expecting someone to get squashed. But yeah, decent match. Stereo retained. Um, yeah, man. But like, nothing much more to say. He had the LWO come out. LWO came out just to watch. They didn't really do anything. No interference, nothing. Yeah. Not much to say on it. Just um, yeah. the champ. I mean, the champ. What do you, what do you have to say? Maybe I, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe it's because of LA Knight in the previous match. On, on the cage match but I felt the crowd were a little bit tired maybe a little bit flat for this the match wise obviously Rey Mysterio is a GOAT and uh, Austin Fury is good even though I did say you get murked off of under five that weren't because I thought I think he's whack it's because I that's what I thought they were going to go for Um, but obviously he's, he's going to looks like a team with Grace on Waller now even though I love Rey Mysterio since I was young loved him off pause but I, even for me I thought it was just like it was just a standard Smackdown match so I was a bit like Happy I slept, to be fair. No disrespect. Oh, wow. Well, another match that I hope you didn't sleep for now. Obviously, this is where um, predictions... Predictions actually stay the same, actually. Um, because both of us for this match undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. Wow. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. As you can see by my name, I'm so happy we got new champions. Even though I, even though I predicted KO and Sami would be team. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. that match was easily the second best of the night. Mm. Yeah, this match went so much better than we expected. Well, definitely me. I don't. I don't know what we expected, but so much better than what I expected. And uh, um, yeah, 
I can't lie. I think it was the wrong decision, but um, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, yeah. Leah said, if we don't have, if if all of them don't come back with gold, there's going to be some changes. Mm. All of them, you know, happy for Finn Balor fight being in um the he's he's part of the Grand Slam now. So yeah, I'm gonna guess for that. I didn't even know that like, that was the only thing he was missing. I was just mm. happy that like, I finally got a big win after um, yeah. you know all these losses to Seth. I'm constantly losing big matches, WrestleMania, all that. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, that yeah. stuff is gone. I was yeah. giving up on the guy. The guy even almost lost, you know. Sammy had him beat. But Dirty Dumb came in clutch with a briefcase. Yeah, and uh, there's... There was yeah, J.D. McDonough as well. McDonald's yeah, Rick well. came out and speared Kevin Owens. What a spot. Bang, 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 what bang. a spot. So much stuff. Bro, it was a fantastic match, honestly, man. What, what do you have to say on that? Yeah, no, I fully, thoroughly, fully enjoyed it. Um, but um, I thought they weren't going to get as much leeway as, you know... As they were given, but I was should have known better because it is KO, it is Sammy, it is the Judgment Day. Do you know what I mean? I knew that I knew it was gonna be a good match, but I thought these men are gonna get one chair, maybe a one table, one candlestick. stick. I didn't think it was gonna be like it was, um, but I have to say, great match, maybe my favorite of the night, or one of them definitely up there. Did I watch that last night? A little bit, but I watched it back this morning, and uh, it was proper, proper, proper. I like the spot what where. Bit, Say that again. What little, what little bit did you watch tonight? Probably like the last beginning, night. probably the beginning. But I was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you told me you were dozing off. Man. Yeah, Shame. but um, I did like the spot Shame where spot. uh they were by the bar- by the fans, and they were put they put Sammy and Kevin Owens into the like behind the barricade, and they came up with the jerseys, and KO was bleeding. I saw people say online that uh, KO bladed. I don't know if they were joking or not, but. Uh, I think it was Dominic's elbow that caught uh, Kevin because if you look, he don't kind of it anymore, man. Yeah, like, a, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if they, they might have meant that in like they might have meant that in a humorous way in it. But if you look, it's Dominic Elba that catches him and instantly he's like he knows he's bleeding or he looks for blood. That was great. One thing I also loved was the Swanton bomb, the camera angle that, that the one cameraman got was the Swanton bomb, Swanton bomb from KO. Um, obviously that ties him. Sorry. JD coming in, that ties in with you know being Finn's buddy, but Damien don't like him. Dirty Dom, Rhea Ripley, she's a legend. She had a match later on, but obviously we'll get to that. Uh, where else? Yeah, man. Of course, we were saying. I know I'm going on a bit, but obviously valid points. We were saying previously how KO and Sammy's run has been a bit lackluster, so maybe this might change things up a little bit, give it a little bit of spice. But yeah, great match. Uh, big up all four people. Big up the new champions. Uh, yeah, man, it was good stuff. It was good. Man, I don't even mind you going on, man. Like valid points were raised. Obviously, it was a great match, so we're always going to talk about it at length, anyways, man. But I'm not sure if there's much more that I can add. Still, man, it was a very great match, and um, yeah, like we're like we like you're saying, the man as tag champs, he was getting a bit stale, man. I saw one account say if them if them and lose then the last five months were for nothing. I would I would agree with that as well. Because you know they really took, they, this is like the first defense on pay per view. I think since not a champion so the tag title sign. It's been a while since them and like them and were mainly defending on raw or SmackDown. But um obviously they can only do so much with what they've been given. Yeah. Come on, yeah they've lost the towers yeah. now. Don't know where they're gonna go from here. But fam, as I say, yeah, all lies the judgment day man. Everyone's uh, yeah. holding gold, man. So, so it was such a great thing to see, man, because it was so unexpected, man. So do we, you f- we really thought that um, KO and Sammy would retain their titles, but yeah. they didn't. And they almost did as well. Like I said already, KO had Finn, Sammy had Finn beat with the Hanuva kick. If not for Dirty Dom, mm, mm. they would not be seeing hashtag and new. But man, fantastic, man. Saying, yo, money in the bank still had his briefcase as well. Did he cash in later that night? We'll get to that. But um, yeah, both of us got that one wrong, man, um, in terms of predictions. Yeah. But I'm happy it happened. Like I said, I feel like it was the wrong decision, but um, at, at the end of the day, it just is what it is. But next match, well, it wasn't even a match. It was the Grayson Waller effects. Mm. And nothing much really happened. We just announced that Jay Uso, after two weeks, is back. And he's well, now... Cody, he that's Cody, ball. he was a guest, isn't it? And then... That's interesting a little bit though. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, but like 
Yeah, for me, nothing much really happened there. Just Jay, Jay came out. Yeah, but he's going so into he, Raw, though, isn't he? He's going, to, he's, going to, he's on Raw now. Quick, yeah, quick trade to Raw. Where would he yeah, go from here? Cool. We will talk about that soon. Some people saying that he has stolen a Jay, Jay, Jimmy Shine because everyone was gassed for, um, you know, potentially Jimmy versus um, Cena because of how active he was on SmackDown. And then Jay coming back has ruined things. So it's so all BS, man. Like, that's all nonsense but yeah we'll see yeah. what happens man. came back a bit too quick right different now. yeah different different themes well not different I remix the words I don't know if you heard, if you heard that it's uh, it's the same same themes when they had as a tag team but uh, the, he's rapping the words he raps now are like it's just me I've been down since day one and I've been down since yeah, they've both got different themes yeah so and um, obviously yeah man, some, someone said that um Jay switched brands to get away from his toxic family, which Maybe. is still, but... Does he yeah, go for a title? I don't really have much to say on that. What do you want to say? Uh, yeah, maybe maybe a bit early, tad early. Um, bit of a weird sort of just Cody being like, here's Jay. And... So is Cody going to SmackDown now? And then he's... Yeah, I, don't know why people, I don't know why people would expect that. To be honest. I'm sure he stays on board. I don't, I don't know why people think there's, there's going to be a switch, but yeah, we'll see what happens. And also, then, I said Cody Rhodes was going to appear on SmackDown. Um, he didn't. I thought he was certainly going to appear, but yeah, he, he didn't. But um, we'll see yeah, we'll see in it. Like, like I said, man, nothing much to say on that. Of of what effect, yeah, we'll man. cover that soon, man. We'll get on to that. Yeah. But then, yeah, the final two matches of the card where predictions were, um, what's the word, <clears throat> differentiated. We didn't get a new um, women's world heavyweight championship because Mami remained on top. Because Mami's always on top. Um, pe- loads of people on Twitter just hating that match or hated. Like I've seen Rhea Ripley get so much hate lately, man. I, I don't, mm. I don't know why. Um, but um, yeah, that match definitely the worst match on the card. But, I thought um, it was a tad but... slow, man. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of mm. a. It, I didn't want it to squash her, but I thought. She I'd, was never gonna squash her, and I and I know that like yeah. they had a good start, and it the start was good. I think it went a bit no, flat, no. but then I know that she was working. Raquel was like injury. injured, yeah. yeah. But then I'm like, it wasn't really. I don't know. It kind of just felt a bit flat for me. But yeah, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. And people hated the ending as well. Dirty dumb comments. It helps. That guy came in clutch twice tonight. He helped. You know, he helped. He helped his team, and he helped his girl. You know, or his mommy. Mm. Yeah, man, Dom came clutch. And yeah, typical standard heel ending. I guess people hated that, but she's a heel. What do you expect? Like, she was never going to um, dismantle Raquel clean. Like, Raquel's someone that's... Yeah. People have been wanting Rhea to have, you know, stop squashing people. There's yeah. someone she can squash. Someone that's pretty much as powerful as her or close enough. Yeah. And yeah, caught the match running a bit long. Ultimately, Rhea got a uh, riptide, one, mm. two, three. Yeah, I thought Raquel was going to win because of promo. The promo gassed me yeah, still. But, I did like expect I said, I a bit more from that win. still. Um, but on to the main event now, the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I really expected Nakamura to get the W. He didn't. The match, yeah, decent match. It got slow a bit, like in the middle, but a great match. It was yeah. the promo package and everything. Shinsuke's entrance as well. That was cold, Great. didn't it? I was hyped. I fully thought man was gonna get a dub. But yeah, he 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 had, he did the best he could still, but ultimately Seth's heart was just too much. You know them ones there, man. Mm, the ending yeah. was a bit quick though, a bit swift. Yeah, I don't know where that curb stone came from, fam. I saw man using then all the next thing was the pedigree. Yeah and moments later, curb stop one, yeah. two, three. Yeah. So definitely and when when the show went off the air, Shinsuke attacked him. I saw that. Um, if that was, was that even off the air, I'm not even sure. But um, yeah, I think there was also when he attacked him after, and people were like, "Why was it off the air?" I don't know. But I yeah, don't know. so um, I we know that was definitely continuing. Fast Lane is the next premium live event, so maybe maybe we get a new champion there. We'll see. But yeah, man, your yeah. thoughts on the match? Obviously, I said Shinsuke would win. He didn't. He mm-hmm. he walked home with nothing. Yeah. Um. From what I remember, I think it was good. I think I, for the most part it was good, but like you said, it got a bit slow. Uh, obviously, Shinsuke was working the the uh, the injured back of Seth, which we expected he was going to say. He said he was going to do it. Um, 
it's bad because I can't really remember. I watched this this morning as well. Uh, I remember it being decent, but I just, I just remember the ending being proper quick, like, and being very sudden. So I don't know if that's just, uh, like, a, not a chemistry. You know, they had, like, bad chemistry. I don't know if that's just, like, a thing that, you know, or that's I mean, just me, how I, you know, how I consume wrestling. Maybe it wasn't for me as such. Um, but it wasn't a bad match. I like both wrestlers. I, I, I do. Uh, finally, to turn Shinsuke Hill. Uh, doing promos in Japanese like like we've like we've been saying finally and stuff like that, um and yeah no it's interesting isn't it I think people were expecting a new champion, uh they think the people the people really wanted the champion because obviously this belt this title was brought in for it to be sort of like well Reigns has held his for so long let's just you know give the talent that's underappreciated something to you know fight for and you know give the belt to you know, other great wrestlers. So we'll see where we go from here. Maybe a new champion pending soon. Um, would have been nice to see uh, Shinsuke win. But of course, uh, I guess creative have other plans uh, for the near future. Yeah, man. We'll see what happens. Mm. And then Damien Priest, he didn't come and cash in. People were surprised. I don't feel like, I don't, I, personally, I don't, I don't feel like it was needed. You know, lame and joy. You know, he's he's not in it. He's already had a match. He's won. He's beaten bad. All that stuff. It's like um, he already had his match in it. So like he got recovered from that. Obviously, celebrate with his guys, man. Mm -hmm. It felt good, man. That's gonna that's gonna cook. That's gonna that's payback, gonna. Nah, the payback poster had all the members of the Judgment Day. Yeah, on, and all yeah. of them left there with gold, man. It's, it's actually crazy. Yeah, we thought maybe sign. We thought maybe. I Maybe thought, not everyone would leave. Yeah, I thought Rio was going to be the one I went at one point. I was yeah, that would have been yeah. crazy as well, you know. If if, they, if her saying, you know, there'll be changes if then and if then she's like, up and then she loses the title. Yeah. Man, but yeah, at the end of the day, the right decision to keep her yeah. as champion, man. It's probably too early to lose it, man. But yeah, that yeah. VOH just needs to stop, man. It's, it's so forced. Like she, She's easily one of the best women's wrestlers. Yeah, oh no, no, no. She's, I it's think it's just the uh... sorry, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it's just like, like people wanted to have these long matches with everyone, man. It's like, them, there's like, just look at Riyad and look at all these other people, and then look at Raquel, look at Beth Phoenix, yeah. look at Natalia, man. And then again, look at all oh, these yeah. and of Can't course, having long matches with everyone. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's no, no, true. Um, I thought Rio was Rio and Raquel that was about right length fights maybe or a bit longer but you know it wouldn't it should have been a squash thing but of course uh Rhea Ripley paying homage to the late China with her gear mm. uh what else and Seth Rollins as Seth well, Rollins as well. Yeah, yeah rest in peace Bray Wyatt he had in his gear for, for Wyatt so shout mm. out to him yeah it was a decent pay-per-view PLE it was decent it was okay it was Very good, good. I gave it an 8 out of 10 what did you give it I mean 10 a bit of a I mean See with this stuff here, with the eight out of ten. I mean, we're talking this year or in my whole life or what? It's just, it's just, a, it's just a premium level. Man. As a, as a level. Oh, oh as, as a premium, like, as a, a seven. It went bad. It wasn't great, but it was, you know, for a for a non big four, it was quite good. So I give it a seven. It was yeah. a nice little watch. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't shambolic. But yeah, man, we move, yeah. man. We say next fast lane and Survivor Series, yeah. Yeah. So obviously we'll be there. We'll see what happens, man. Fallout on Raw to, um, yeah, tomorrow night. But um, yeah, that's it from the Tribal Chief and Joel. Both of us are very happy seeing our enemy smash today, Manchester United. Felt so good. Such a wonderful result, man. Um, obviously, Chelsea lost for, for me. But then the man, oh, yeah. I already did my reaction to these bumps. But um, yeah, man, that's it's been the Tribal Chief. It's been just Joel. Do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, stay tuned for further content. Uh, we're doing what we're doing extra bits. We're doing uh fast lane. We'll be heading towards the virus series, so we that's a that's our next big one. So we'll be cooking out some content for you lot. Just been going crazy on his channel, and I'm proud of him. Um, football content, wrestling content, a lot. Check out our social media, especially our TikToks. We've got the TikToks going on, especially Jeff. But check out the TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or X. Uh, but yeah, content on my channel coming, content on Jess' channel coming regularly. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys passing through each and every time, man. Yeah, and guys, man, 
that's it from us as always acknowledge us by liking subscribing and yeah man more to come as Joel has already said but yeah that's it until next time deuces deuces <laughs> <laughs>